Money, 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 money! Money! What's up, what's up? Wanna to come to you guys live before I head out the office. What an absolutely great day, very productive. Had an amazing meeting here at the Ohio headquarters with a lot of great individuals, a lot of great partners and potential new partners that are joining the organization LC Financial Group and was just thinking about money. We talked about money in the meeting earlier and I, I keep I keep seeing Mr. Mr. Benny up there talk saying, let's get some money. And just wanted to bring to you guys my viewpoint on money and my intention is not to tell you how to think or to alter your thinking. However, my intention is to suggest to you how you should be thinking and recommend how you should be thinking. What you do with this information, completely up to you. But before I go any further, if you don't know me, take full responsibility. My name is Ryan Lodi, building a nine-figure insurance agency and helping everyday Americans create a multiple six-figure residual income within their first year here at LC Financial Group. We also help final expense agents create a multiple six-figure residual income by converting 30 to 40% of their existing book of business into Medicare beneficiaries. We also help Medicare agents who don't have a multiple six-figure residual income create one here at LC Financial Group. Oh, and lastly, we help individuals go from working in the business to being able to work on the business. So hey, if you wanna learn more about what partnering with us here at LC Financial Group looks like, DM me, comment below, reach out to any of our partners here at LC Financial Group. We have to change the way we think about money. We have to change our viewpoint on money. I talked about this earlier, as I said, in our meeting today at the office with a bunch of great individuals, bunch of great partners here at LC Financial Group, and talking about the importance of changing the way that we think about money, changing the way in which we view money. Now, let me talk to you about where I came from because hey, like most of us, most of y'all that are watching, like myself, like a lot of people that I knew, uh, that I know growing up, we were brought up with the wrong thinking, the wrong knowledge, and ultimately we were brought up to have all the wrong conceptions and the wrong viewpoint of money. So we first have to change the way that we think think about money in order to get our money right in order to become financially free in order to create success and whatever that means for you as far as success and financial freedom all of us have different definitions but in order to create the financial freedom and success that we desire to create we have to change the way that we think about money and we also have to strip away and remove the wrong information that's the first step, removing the wrong information, removing the implanted beliefs and thoughts that we were implanted by, whether it's our parents, the marketplace, the world, society, you know, because society, they want to make slaves, they want to make victims, they want to make people that they can control and put in a little box and put in a cage. You, we got to break out of that cage. We got to break out of that cage so we can create the financial freedom that we desire. So we first have to strip away and remove the wrong information. And then we could add the correct information. We could add the right information. So it's like, hey, you, you want to plant a plant? First, you got you got to you got to undo that soil of wherever you're looking to plant that new plant, because, hey, who knows what could be in that soil? It could be bad soil that you're trying to plant in. So you gotta first remove and strip away the bad information. So what, what is some of the bad information? I wrote it up here. What money, what they taught us about money. This is These are the things that you have to remove. These are the, the beliefs and the ideologies that, you know, unfortunately some of our, our parents, cousins, teachers, maybe even work associates, the world and the society has taught us. And it's the wrong way of thinking about money. It's the incorrect way of thinking about money. 
This is how you could think about money decades ago, centuries ago. But right now, nowadays in the in the 20th century, if you if you want to create financial freedom and success for yourself and also for other people to be able to give back, you need to change the way you think about money. You need to strip away the bad information, the wrong information. Like like number one, money is the root of all evil. Money is the root of all evil, right? They, they, they say this comes from the Bible, which it, it is true, but they construed it, they construed it to, to a different saying here. It's not money is the root of all evil, it's the love of money is the root of all evil. Money is not the root of, of all evil, money is good. Money is supposed to be accumulated. We're supposed to increase our income, we're supposed to increase our revenue, and we're supposed to have money. We can't live without money. And let me, let me dive into this before I, before I jump into the second one here. Money is good because in order to survive, which survive is basically abundance, abundance in all areas of life. In order to survive, we need to have money. Bottom line, you wanna go to a store, you know, go out to eat, you gotta have money. You wanna get groceries, you gotta have money. You wanna put gas in your car, you gotta have money. You wanna live, you want a nice house, a nice apartment, a nice condo, you gotta have money. You gotta have money. You want nice clothes, you gotta have money. You want a nice car, you gotta have money. You have to have money. You wanna give back and support at, at, at high levels, you gotta have money. So secondly, money is bad, money is bad. This, th these go hand in hand. All of these kinda of go hand in hand, but money is bad. Remove that, money is not bad, money is good, money is needed, as I was saying. You gotta have money to live and you gotta have money to survive and to create abundance. Number three, number three, rich people are greedy. Rich people are greedy. Every person that has money is greedy. Every person that has money is has a big ego. Every person that has money you know, they're, they're, they, they're changed, they change, right? You, you've probably heard this before. I've heard it many times, like, man, you're, you're changing a lot. Man, the, the way you act, the way you think, the way you talk about money, the way in which you're always about work, 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 business, 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 like you've changed. Like, hey, I'm, I'm changing so I can become a better me. And that, that's the bottom line. Like, we're all changing to become the best version of ourselves. So we can not just only help ourselves, but we can also help other people. Right, so money, rich people are, are greedy. Rich people are greedy, or like remove that. Rich people are, can be greedy, but hey, money makes you more of who you already are, bottom line. Money makes you more of who you already are. So the more money you get, if you're already a bad person, it's gonna make you, it's gonna more than likely make you more bad. It could change you into a great person, but hey, if you're a great person, you accumulate more money and riches and, and and prosperity and financial freedom in your life, it's gonna make you more of a good person. It's gonna make you more of a great person. It's gonna make you even a greater individual because you have money. You're gonna be able to give back. You're gonna be able to support. You're gonna be able to you know, help other people and make a bigger impact, bottom line. Money doesn't buy happiness. Money doesn't buy happiness. Money doesn't buy happiness. You can't be happy with money, on and on and on. All these sayings and all these bad, stable datums are taught to us and ingrained in our mind from, literally from as we are born to however old we get. And this is what holds people back from creating financial freedom and the success they desire in their life. It's because they are taught the wrong way to think about money, they have the wrong beliefs and they have the wrong structure and foundation. If you have a faulty structure and a faulty foundation, what's gonna happen? And if you even try to grow on top of it, it's gonna collapse. And this is why it's important to first remove the wrong information and strip away the wrong information and the wrong data to add the new information. Because if you try to add on that faulty foundation and structure, hey, it's, it's not gonna work out too well. So money doesn't buy happiness, well, hey, Maybe it doesn't, maybe it doesn't for some people. Money definitely makes me more happy, it makes me more enthused, makes me more inspired, more motivated. And hey, if, if you, if you, you know, if, you're, if we're talking about happiness and money in the same sentence, we're, we're talking about someone who doesn't have money. <laughs> we're talking about people that don't have money. If, they, if they're talking about money doesn't buy happiness, 
they they don't have money because hey they, they would know that money it's, it's gonna make you happy to some degree it's not gonna fulfill you as much as you could be fulfilled right it's not gonna fulfill you it's not gonna fill up that bank that we have within ourselves but it's gonna make us happy man you could buy a house a car you know good clothing eat well like how doesn't that make you happy so you got to remove that like money doesn't make you happy hey if I'm gonna be unhappy I would rather have a boatload of money and be unhappy than be unhappy and not have money right think of it that way and then number number five don't talk about money this is this is great this is great because what you don't talk about and what you don't think about and the way in which you view money and talk about money is the way in which you will act when you get around money and the way in which money will actually flow into you. So if you don't talk about money, then money's not gonna come to you. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about this here in a second, but if we don't talk about money, it's not gonna flow to you abundantly. If you have the wrong thoughts about money, it's gonna flow to you. It's not gonna flow to you on abundantly. If you have the wrong viewpoint about money, it's not gonna flow to you in the amounts that you desire it to flow to you. So don't talk about money. Hey, we can talk about being poor. We can talk about being just getting by, but why, why can't we talk about being wealthy, being prosperous, having money? Because people suppress that, people squash that, and people invalidate you for having money and having wealth and riches because hey, number one, they probably quit. Number two, they gave up on it. Number three, they made sense of not having money. So don't listen to people that say, hey, don't, don't talk about money. Talk about money more. Money should be a good subject. Money should be something that is brought up, right? Now, these are what we, this is what we have to remove. First, you gotta remove and strip away the wrong information and the wrong data. Now, what, what do we have to add? What do we have to add? What are the, the thinking and the thoughts that we have to add? What is the viewpoint that we have to add about money? Obviously, money is good. We need money. Money is to be used. Like money, we have to have it to be able to live and survive and to have abundance in all areas. So what does money do for us? This is what we have to add. This is what we have to add. The thinking and the viewpoint and the thought process of what we have to add in our life. Number one, money allows us to be the best, the best. That's why I got it underlined. The best version of ourselves. As I was saying earlier, the more money you have, the better you're gonna be, as long as you're already a good person in the beginning. And hey, if you're a bad person without money and you get money, you know, there's a there's a really good chance that you're gonna become a good person because you have money. But hey, money allows us to become the best version of ourselves. And the reason why is because, hey, without money, like we're gonna be acting differently, we're gonna be thinking differently, and we're gonna be, you know, stressing about money all the time. You know, this is this goes down to to number three, but it allows us to be the best version of ourselves. So you gotta understand that. That's a great stable datum to have. Number two, it allows us to give back. This is one of the purposes and reasons I have for continually striving for massive amounts of wealth, massive amounts of indestructible wealth and just financial freedom that is really just can't be taken away. I want so much wealth and money so that I can give back. One of my goals, one of my targets that I write down every single day in my 10X planner is to be able to give back $10 million every single month to my church, a charity I support, an organization, a foundation, to give back to my family and to make just a, a greater impact on this universe. So money allows us to be able to give back, to be able to support. Right? And then number three, number three, it allows us to be less stressed and less worried. Don't even tell me, don't go on about how you're okay with not enough money, how you're okay with just getting by, how you're okay with, you know, making sense of not having enough money. You're, 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 you're justifying your reasoning and you're pretty much just lying to yourself and lying to others. Because man, I, I could tell you this, like when I, First got into the insurance industry when I first started my entrepreneurial career, I was so stressed about money. I was so worried about money. I was like, man, like I can't even fill up my tank. I could, but I didn't because my thinking was small. My money mindset was totally skewed. I literally put $25 into my gas tank 
every time I filled up gas, even though I had the money to fill up gas. I was literally like only buying enough groceries that like I could only have for like a couple days because I'm like, I can't spend this money. Holding on to money. When you try to hold on to what you have so tightly, it's blocking the flow of what can be brought into your life. You gotta open those flows. You gotta open the floodgates. You gotta open the barriers that you set in your life if you want things to flow into you. If you want more money, you gotta give more money. If you want more money and income coming into your life, you gotta let it go. You gotta let it flow. You gotta give it. You gotta give back, right? So it money allows us to be less stressed and less worried. Stable data. Number four. It allows us to have more experiences. It allows us to live life in the degree that we want to. It allows us to do things that we want to. It allows us to give back to others and allow them to have great experiences in life. It allows us to do what we want, when we want, in the amounts that we want, and as many times as we desire. So money allows us to have experiences. It allows us to live life. It allows us to see what life has to offer. Because without money, hey, like, you, you might be able to just stay in the state that you're currently in, but there's 50 states in the world. There's tens, 20, hundreds of other countries in this universe on planet Earth that we're living on. So you wanna experience that. And then number, number five, it allows us to create more money. When we have money, we're able to put that money to work so it can create more money for us. Passive income, residual income, income that comes in whether we're working or not. Because hey, instead of always trading time for money, we're gonna be able to trade money for time. We're gonna be able to create more time because we have more money, right? So it allows us to create more money. This is one of the vital focus points of money. Having money create more money because of your money instead of you're creating money because of your time. You wanna create more money because of your money than you do because of your time. Boom, bottom line. So those are the things that we have to add. Now how we think about money, very important, very important. What do you think is a lot of money? Ask yourself these questions. Great questions to ask yourself to literally figure out and become aware of how you think about money. How do you think about money? What do you think is a lot of money? How do you view money? How do you talk about money? What do you do when you get a lot, get around a lot of money? What is your viewpoint when you get around a lot of money? How do the other people around you and your, that you surround yourself with and that you connect with and have conversations with, how do they think about money? How do, you, how do you guys have conversations about money, right? Because hey, if the people around you are struggling with money, sooner or later you're gonna struggle with money as well. You're the product of your environment. You are the composite of the five people you surround yourself with. So if the people around you are struggling, they're just getting by, like that's more of a chance that you're just gonna struggle and just get by as well. So ask yourself the right quest, hey, how much money do you need to create true financial freedom? Whatever, whatever financial freedom means in your terms, right? What is a lot of money? How much money do you need to make an impact on this, on this world? How much money do you need to be able to give back and support? These are the questions, these are the good questions you should be asking yourself, right? So, hey, money, money, money. It's important, it's vital. Change the way you think about money, change the viewpoint in which you have money. And the first step in order to do that is to strip away and remove the wrong information and start implanting and adding the right information. Start studying and learning from these highly successful individuals and hey, duplicate the actions and the mindsets of them and you're gonna create success as well. So you guys have a great day. Let's continue to win. Let's continue to you know, help ourselves so we can help other people and just continue to keep this momentum flowing as we continue on with this year of 2023. It's month two. Hope everyone's getting forward and getting ahead. You guys have a good one. Talk to you guys soon.